what do you think right now in drumming is the next match grip? What is that next advancement that we're waiting for? Well, I, I think uh, a great question. I think, well, I mean, I played traditional grip for many years and then I made the change over because I realized by having both hands holding the, the grip the same way, it allowed me to lift my weaker side, which was my left hand to a higher level. So my left hand now became more equal to my right hand. So that was an advantage in drumming. With, I think, where the future is going is clearly open-handed playing where the hi-hat is lower and you play the hi-hat with your left hand. I think that's where the future is going because that frees up this cross concept of playing. And now more drummers are playing open-handed. Mm -hmm. And because of lowering your hi-hat, you can now add other areas around the left side of our drum set. And there are many drummers, like a student of mine, Frank Perry, has this ambi-symmetrical kit, which he calls, which is a literally a mirrored image kit around both right and left side. So you can play right-hand lead or left-hand lead. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of where we're going where you know, you've got players like Mike Mangini doing that. You've got the great Terry Bozio, you know, Thomas Lang, Virgil Donati, he's, you know, Marco Minimum. They're doing this now where they're opening up a whole nother way where the kit now is becoming right or left-handed. Guys like Billy Cobbin were doing this first, Simon Phillips. So I think that's kind of where it's going and it's exciting to see the development. Was there anything that you switched to that you thought was going to be a big advancement that you ended up going, eh, you know, after some practice, you didn't like it so much and ended up reverting back? Uh, no. Every change I made was well researched, was well thought out, and uh, when I went to double pedal, at the point you know single bass drum, that was the, that was the way we played many years ago. When the, you know we had just a single a single bass, John Bonham single bass, you know Steve Gadd was single bass, you know Buddy single bass. It was just that kind of thing. Louis Belson, although he had the double bass, two bass drums seemed to be too big a deal to carry around and play for the jobs I was playing. Then when the double pedal came around, where you can now have one bass drum but with two pedals, the concept of that was really important. My left foot was always very, very good. And because of that, when I count on the double pedal, that opened up a whole nother world of playing where many people said, oh man, this will never last. Not only am I still doing it, but now it's really kind of the, the wave of everyone now has a double pedal on their kit to play. Absolutely. Well, I kind of did the research and followed, and if I used the tool properly, to express what I feel, I think that's got a big part of the advantage of, of staying with what you envision. Really